I don't know if you know this yet, but cooking on a sheet pan has to be one of my all-time favorite methods of cooking. So today I'm going to be sharing five new sheet pan dinners with you. And these are not your boring basic sheet pan dinners because these are dump and go sheet pan dinners. We're literally going to be dumping the ingredients onto the sheet pan, giving it a mixy, and then baking it up in the oven. This is going to be a low mess dinner and an easy dinner. I hope you enjoy it and let's go get started. This one is one of my favorites. So to start us off today, we are making this Parmesan crusted chicken. I have a large sheet pan right here, line it with parchment paper, you know, just for easy cleanup. Now you're going to want to add about a pound and a half of baby yellow potatoes to the sheet pan and make sure you do cut those potatoes into smaller bite-sized pieces. If you don't want to use yellow potatoes, you could always use like red potatoes as a substitute. I also added a pound of fresh broccoli that I cut into smaller pieces and two tablespoons of olive oil. Now add your seasonings on. It's just a half a tablespoon of salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. It's quite a bit of seasonings, but this is going to add a lot of flavor to these boring vegetables. Give this a stir to coat the veggies in the oil and the seasonings. After you made room in the center of your sheet pan for your two large chicken breasts, just add them right there and then spray them with a little bit of oil spray. This will help the coating become nice and crispy in the end. Then I sprinkled Parmesan cheese over the chicken breast and then I sprinkled them with panko breadcrumbs. I kind of patted the panko and Parmesan on just to make sure it stuck. Now season the top of the chicken with a little bit of salt, pepper, paprika, Italian seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now you're going to want to flip the chicken over and repeat this process on the other side of the chicken. So spray it with the spray, add the Parmesan panko, and then your seasonings. After you're through adding all of your seasonings on, bake this in a preheated oven to 375 degrees for about 35 minutes or until your chicken is completely cooked through. Once the time is up, your house will be smelling like the most delicious, coziest dinner in the world. Those veggies are like perfectly tender and that coating on the outside of the chicken is like perfectly crispy. It has so much flavor and that chicken is like so juicy and so good. My husband Will especially loves this ranch and veggie sheet pan dinner. So to your sheet pan that you have lined with parchment paper, add one diced green bell pepper. Also add one diced red onion and one cubed zucchini. I do want to mention to you, if you don't care for any of these veggies I'm using in this recipe today or any of the recipes, you could always swap them out for different veggies that you love. But now I'm adding on one cubed yellow squash and then I'm going to be adding one pound of fresh broccoli florets. For the chicken, I'm using about a pound and a half of cubed chicken breast. And then I'm going to be adding our oil, which I'm just adding about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then add a tablespoon of minced garlic. That garlic will add a ton of great flavor. And then for the seasonings, this is very simple. We're just using one packet of ranch seasoning mix. Just dump that all over the food and then add a teaspoon of black pepper. Give this a stir to coat everything in the oil and the seasonings and then bake this in a preheated oven to 400 degrees for about 35 minutes. We love to sprinkle the top of ours with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but this dinner is very, very good. Like I said, my husband Will devours it. You could also meal prep this one very easily too if you wanted to like meal prep it for lunches or dinners, just because it reheats in the microwave very well. I haven't made pork chops in a little while, but I am so glad I made these seasoned honey garlic pork chops. They're really delicious. So to your sheet pan, add about a pound and a half of a little potatoes. You could use any potatoes you like. I use the gemstone potatoes, but I don't recommend you using russet potatoes. Just because russet potatoes are considered like higher starch potatoes, so they're very dense and they take a lot longer to bake in the oven. Then I added on the other side of the sheet pan a 12 ounce frozen bag of green beans. 
beans. Drizzle two tablespoons of olive oil all over the top. Now for the seasonings, you're going to want to add a half a tablespoon of all these seasonings on pepper, salt, oregano, rosemary, and paprika. Again, it's quite a few seasonings, but these veggies will be pretty bland without them. Bake this in a preheated oven to 400 degrees after you give these veggies a really good stir for about 25 minutes. And the reason why we're baking these veggies before we add the pork chops to the pan is because the pork chops don't take very long to bake. So we just have to partially bake these veggies first. Once the vegetables are out of the oven, you're going to place your pork chops in the center of your sheet pan. I'm using about a pound of pork chops and it's about four pork chops total. Now drizzle the top of the pork chops with a little bit of honey. You've got to trust this process. These pork chops are really good. Then season them with a dash of pepper, paprika, and onion powder. Now I'm putting some minced garlic all over the top and then I'm going to brush on about a tablespoon of olive oil. You're going to want to flip these pork chops over and repeat this process on the other side. Then these pork chops are going to bake in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're completely cooked through. I know sometimes pork chops can be a little bit boring and not super flavorful and just not easy to eat, but these pork chops are just bursting with flavor. Those veggies pair perfectly with these pork chops on the side. This meal is good. This one is our meatless meal for today. We are making these amazing veggie nachos. So to my sheet pan, I'm adding one bag of tortilla chips and I do like using like the scoops tortilla chips for nachos. That way all of the nacho toppings won't just slide off of the chips and then you could kind of like scoop up the toppings. But I'm topping these chips with a little bit of diced red onions, shredded Mexican style cheese, a drained and rinsed can of black beans, and then a drained and rinsed can of pinto beans. Next I'm going to be adding part of a drained can of southwest style corn and I do want to let you know with these nachos you could add seriously any toppings that you like. These are just toppings that my family really enjoys but since I didn't use this whole can of corn I did save the remaining corn just in a little container and I froze it for a future dinner. Now I'm adding a drained can of green chilies and then I'm going to top these nachos with a little bit more cheese and diced red onions. Bake this in a preheated oven to 375 degrees for about 25 minutes or until the cheese is perfectly melty and golden brown. Once these nachos are out of the oven, you can top them with any cold toppings that you love. So then you get the hot nachos straight out of the oven mixed with the cold toppings. It really does make for the most perfect nacho. And like I said before, these are meatless nachos, but if you wanted to add like ground taco meat to these nachos before you put them in the oven or cooked shredded chicken, you certainly can. Now we're making these Parmesan garlic chicken tenders with potatoes and asparagus. To begin, you are going to want to add one diced yellow onion to your sheet pan. Next, add about a pound and a half of little red potatoes that are like diced into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now add eight ounces of either fresh or frozen asparagus. I used frozen just because it's normally a little less expensive than fresh. Then I added my pound and a half of chicken tenderloins and now we have have the Parmesan garlic wing sauce. I got this from Walmart and this is what we we're going to be using. I used about a half a cup of that. Just pour that all over the top. This sauce is super duper good. It just has like a Parmesan herby garlic taste about it. The last thing I did was sprinkle a little dash of salt and pepper all over the top. Then I gave this a stir to coat everything in the sauce. This baked in a preheated oven to 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes.
This dinner has very minimal ingredients and very minimal steps, so you could throw this together on a super busy night when you don't really know what you're going to cook for dinner and this will come out of the oven and it's a total crowd pleaser. I have so many more easy dinner videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you there. Bye for now.